Welcome to another Atlantis Rail instructional video. Today we'll be installing the Nova 2 aluminum railing system on a stair section. First, let's take a look at the tools and safety equipment you will need to successfully install your system. Most tools you will already have, but a few specialized tools offered by Atlantis Rail may be needed when installing the cable. Atlantis Rail offers easy to use paper drilling templates to help lay out the position of mounting holes for the rail brackets and tensioners on stair posts. You can find these templates within the stair rail bracket kit packaging. There are two styles of cable tensioners for the Nova 2 system. The Nova 2 single mount tensioner and the handy swage tensioner. Both are constructed from high quality stainless steel and attached to the cable using the same method. However, they mount to the post differently. Based on your tensioner choice, use the appropriate hole pattern on the paper drilling template when pre-drilling the tensioner mounting holes. Supporting information on proper use of the templates can be found in the instructions. Upon receiving your railing order, make sure to locate the installation instructions and read them before you start your project. Having an understanding of how the system goes together will make installation easier with better results. It is also important to open each box and verify that all system components are present. We recommend installing your stair rail section prior to installing the railing system on your level surface. Gather the posts and position them in their general locations per your plan layout. Post kits include a post pad with mounting holes, and a center drainage hole, a post skirt, and a post cap. Mark and pre-drill posts for rail brackets and tensioners. When using the templates, be sure to place the bottom of the template on top of the post flange. Mark the locations of the mounting holes onto the upward face of the bottom stair post and the downward face of the top stair post. Pre-drill the posts. For the rail brackets, use a 5 32 inch drill bit. For the Nova 2 single mount tensioners, use a 7 32 inch drill bit. Mount the posts. Position all stair posts, making sure to follow our recommended placement measurement of an inch and three quarter from the edge of the post flange to the nose of your stair tread. Keep in mind it is critical that the mounting hardware penetrate into the structure in accordance with local building codes. Mark the location of mounting holes and the center drainage hole of the post pad. Pre-drill the mounting holes using a quarter inch drill bit. Use lag bolts to anchor the posts. The plastic cover knots are used once the post is fully secured. With the holes for the rail brackets and fittings facing the right way, install the lag bolts using a ratchet or a driver. Either way, we recommend protecting the posts from scratching during this process. Use a level to make sure the posts are installed plumb. The use of post shims may be necessary. Install the plastic cover nuts. Use silicone caulk on the lag bolt heads before installing the plastic cover nuts. This will protect the hardware and decking against moisture. Don't forget to install the post skirts. Install the top and bottom stair rail bracket bases using the number 10 self-drilling screws. Make sure the slots on the top stair rail bracket bases are facing down and that the slots on the bottom stair rail bracket bases are facing up. When installing the bottom stair rail bracket base on the upward face of the bottom post, use a ratchet with a square driver bit to fasten. You'll find there is not enough room for a power drill. To install the Nova 2 single mount tensioners, disassemble the tensioners by removing the threaded stud and unscrewing the base cover.
Reassemble the tensioner bases, making sure to insert the number 14 screw before threading on the base cover. Install the tensioner bases to the post using the plastic gasket in between the post and mounting base. Be careful not to strip the screw head. The slots on the tensioner base should aim down on the downward post base and aim up on the upward post base. Reassemble the tensioners leaving 3 quarters of an inch of thread exposed. Here is a better view of how the Nova 2 single mount tensioner components are assembled and installed onto the stair posts. Measure and cut the rails. Measure from the top edge to top edge of the stair rail bracket bases. For the top rail, subtract 2 and 3 quarter inch from your measurement. For the bottom rail, subtract an inch and a half. Mark the rails and cut them to length using a miter saw with a non-ferrous carbide tip blade. Install the top and bottom rails. Slide the rail brackets over each end of the rails. Make sure the rail brackets are oriented correctly. Insert the rib on each bracket into the slot on the rail bracket bases. Install the set screws into the side of each rail bracket base. If your stair rail section is under 4 feet in length, skip the following steps for installing the support block and cable stabilizer. They are not necessary on rail sections under 4 feet in length. Mark the location of the support block and stabilizer. Assemble the support block base kit. Using the supplied Phillips head screw, attach the rectangular mounting plate to the connector. Position the support block base with the support block in place. Mark the stair tread, the bottom rail, as well as the back side of the support block. Mark a center line in between the marks on the bottom rail and transfer the center line onto the top rail using a level. Use a square to transfer a center mark onto the top and underside of the bottom rail and the underside of the top rail. These marks indicate the location of screw holes for the connectors. Measure and cut the stabilizer and support block. Measure between the top and bottom rails on the center line. Transfer this measurement onto the stabilizer, making sure to center your tape measure on the stabilizer. With the stabilizer and support block marked, set the saw to match the angle degree of your stairs and cut them to length. Make sure the offset cable slots in the stabilizer match the direction of your angled end cuts. Pre-drill and install the connectors onto the rails. Using an eighth inch drill bit, drill straight while gradually working the drill bit to vertical to complete each hole on the underside of the top rail and the top of the bottom rail. Remove the rails and drill the underside of the bottom rail in the same manner. Install the connectors to the rails using the supplied number 8 screws and a square driver bit. Install the support block. Measure from the edge of the stair tread to the center of the post. Transfer this measurement onto the stair tread that the support block will be mounted to and mark a center line. 
Position the support block base and mark the hole placement onto the center line. Pre-drill the holes with an eighth inch drill bit. And install the support block base, making sure the plastic gasket and washers are used. Install the rails and stabilizer. Repeat the prior steps to install the bottom rail, making sure to insert the connector on the underside of the bottom rail into the top of the support block. Install the stabilizer onto the connector on the top of the bottom rail. Install the top rail, making sure to insert the connector on the underside of the top rail into the top of the stabilizer. Tighten the set screws on the side of the rail brackets and install the set screw covers. Using an eighth inch drill bit, drill a hole through the underside of the top bracket and rail. Install the number 10 self-drilling screw to secure the top stair rail. Install the post caps by applying a bead of silicone on the top edge of the post and set the post caps firmly into place. Take this time to review how the adjustable rail brackets are secured to the posts and rails. Please note the proper installation of the connectors into the support block and cable stabilizer, as well as the use of screw caps for a finished look. Now that the framework of your stair rail is properly installed, it's time to run the cable. With the threaded stud on each tensioner extended 3 quarters of an inch, measure the distance from receiver cone to receiver cone on opposing tensioners for the section. This measurement is the cut to length for the cable. Cut and install the bottom cable run. We recommend installing the bottom cable run for each section before cutting all of the cables for your entire project. This allows you to make adjustments in case the cable winds up being too long or too short. Cut the cable for the bottom run to length. Attach the cable end to the tensioner at the bottom of the top stair post. Insert the cable into the receiver cone while twisting the cable opposite the lay of the wire strands. Fully tighten the receiver cone using a 7 16 inch and a 3 8 inch wrench. The wedge inside will crimp down on the cable. Run the cable through each stabilizer and mid post toward the bottom stair post of the cable run section. Repeat the previous step to attach the cable end to the tensioner at the bottom of the bottom stair post. With the bottom cable run loosely installed and assembled to the correct length, cut the additional cable lengths and repeat the process to install the remaining cable runs. To tension the cables, hand tighten the tensioners equally on both sides of each cable run. Beginning with the center run of cable, hold the tensioner stud in a fixed position with a 3 8 inch wrench while rotating the tensioner body with a 5 16 inch wrench until the cable is snug. Tension each additional cable run working away from the center run as shown in the instructions. Make final adjustments to the cable tension. Make sure all cables are tight and relatively equal in tension. With all of the cables tensioned properly, tighten the tensioner lock nuts. Use a 5 16 inch wrench to hold the tensioner body in a fixed position while tightening the lock nut using a 7 16 inch wrench. Here is a closer look at how the Nova 2 single mount tensioner is attached to the cable, along with a view of how the assembly tensions the cable and is locked into place. Your Nova 2 stair section railing system is now complete. For detailed instructions and system specifications, please visit www.atlantisrail.com.